cousins. I'm with my cousins. How old are you there? Fifteen. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Where are you? Near the woods. Cutting copper. Mm -hmm. Using an axe and a hammer to cut it. And whilst I'm hitting the, have the axe turned upward. And I'm laying the copper strands over and beating it with a hammer to cut it. The piece flies in my hand. I tell my cousin I got some in my hand. He says, keep, keep hitting it. He wouldn't let me stop. Connect with your emotions and tell me what you're feeling. I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. so, so let's find out where this has happened before. Where has this scene happened before? We're going to go through time and space and follow where this has happened in another life. Five, going through time and space. I don't want to do this. Four, I don't want to do this. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Where are you? Jail. Mm -hmm. with your feelings what's going on inside I don't know if I can do this mm -hmm. it's too long what happens next somebody come and get me out. How old are you there? Thirty. Mm -hmm. What happens next? I'm like friends with some guys. In jail. We study the Bible together. Mm -hmm. There are other guys that are making a lot of noise. How does that affect you? It annoys me. Mm -hmm. Choice you make. Keep 
Cry. What is that doing to you? Go inside of you and see what this emotion is doing. Feeling helpless. See what's going on with your emotions. I just want to sleep. Mm -hmm. Makes time go by faster. Mm -hmm. So let's go into one of those dream states now. I'm going to touch your forehead and as I do with each tap you're going to go into that deep sleep and let's see where it is that you go begin sleep now sleep 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 Allow your essence to begin to drift and float in that sleep, traveling through time and space. Where do you go in this dream state? Where do you travel to? Look around you. Beach. Mm -hmm. Describe this beach for me. It's sandy. Mm -hmm. The water is dark blue. There's palm trees. Take a look at your self on this beach. Do you have a body there? Yes. Mm -hmm. What does your body look like there? Steam. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Long legs. Mm -hmm. What do the legs look like? Like bird legs. Mm -hmm. What color are these legs? Of your 
black and white feathers. Mm-hmm. What does your face look like? Like a bird. Mm. So it's a beautiful place to be a bird on this beautiful beach, isn't it? Yes. Mm hmm. What do you do when you're on this beach? Come here to relax. Mm hmm. To get away from everything. There's no people here. Mm hmm. You said you had seen other birds and dolphins. Do you communicate with them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this place that you go to. The dolphins, they come up from the water and looking at me. Mm -hmm. Connect with them telepathically, mind to mind. What do they say to you? You say, why did you come this time? Mm -hmm. What do you say? happens next on this island? On this beach? It's starting to rain. Mm -hmm. What happens next? feel in this place? It's home. Mm -hmm. Feel this place. Absorb it. Remember this. Let's see how it is that you decide to go back. What happens next? Where do you go? Fly away. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to close that scene and let's go now to another time in another place. Another lifetime that affected the lifetime of Renell. Allow yourself to drift and float through time and space. And be there now.
Tell me more. The recruiter is with me. Mm-hmm. He's there to help me. The judge wants to sentence me to some time. He's mistaking me for somebody else. Mm-hmm. He thinks it's he thinks that I've been there more than once in front of him. I can't tell him that I'm not the one. He doesn't give me time to say anything. My recruiter, he stands up and tells him that I'm going in the military. He releases me on the conditions that I follow through. So he lets me go. So as you look at this scene, I want you to look at it as you look back. Let's see how this changed the lifetime of Renell. How did this impact him? It changed the course of his life. Mm-hmm. Why did he choose to have to go through this experience? Is that why he needed to be in jail before? Yes. Mm-hmm. Can you tell him more about why it was so important for him to go through that experience? It makes him stronger. Mm-hmm. Did he need to be stronger in this lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is it that he came into this lifetime to want to do that he needed the strength for? situations mm -hmm. that people have to do. Life is hard here. Mm-hmm. Has he been to this earth before? No. No. Is this his first lifetime? Yes. Mm -hmm. We saw him as a bird. Is that what he's been doing before, or is that his spirit life? Spirit. Spirit life. So he is a free bird in that life. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what was the purpose of him coming here into this earth as a new soul? What did he want to accomplish? Freedom. Mm. To spread freedom. Yes. So as this bird who is free, how was he going to accomplish that? To 
His personality. Mm. Well, we know now that he is free in his job. That he's able to travel, almost like a bird. Was this a choice that matched his personality? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell more, me more about the spreading of freedom? Why did he need to bring that into this lifetime? Because uh, it's everyone's in bondage. Mm -hmm. Materialistic. Mm -hmm. Is that how we enslave ourselves with materialism? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, what is he, his life, supposed to be representing in freedom? We asked the question before we even started this session. He wanted to know why we choose the vehicles that we call bodies. Why we choose the size, the shape, the color, the gender. Why did this soul choose the body and the color and the gender that he did? How would that help him in his purpose? Well, he chose this body wisely to feel the lessons that he needed to feel, the prejudice. What can he do with this now? He would know what it feels like mm -hmm. on the receiving end. Mm -hmm. What does that mean on the receiving end? Has he ever been in a position where he's prejudged others? Yes. Can you tell me about that? So he has judged others on looks and gender? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is this in this lifetime or elsewhere? This lifetime. Mm -hmm. When did he do this judging?
was it so long ago? Mm -hmm. But he's changing. So now you say he's on the receiving side of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is he feeling from this judgment that he sent out? What's coming back to him? He sees what it feels like. Mm -hmm. To be discriminated against. Mm -hmm. So what can he do about that now? Now that he has felt it, does he need to continue to feel it, to focus on it? needs to focus on treating everybody the same. Mm -hmm. So when we treat everyone the same and focus on that, how does our reality change? It changes the way you think, mm -hmm. the way you absorb energy. Mm -hmm. What energy would he be absorbing once he focuses on treating everyone the same? Light. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's going on with his blood pressure. What is causing his blood to be so pressurized? Follow it. What is the heart trying to tell him? Tell me about that. The changes in the earth. Mm-hmm. And he has some pain in his right hip, mm -hmm. left hip. What is that being caused by? Hernia. Mm-hmm. Now you said that the heart issues were changes in the earth. Is there anything that he needs to be concerned about? No. No. So allow that to be. Mm -hmm. All right. And the pains in his right hip. Now we know that every single day, 30 billion cells are changed. 30 billion of them die, and 30 billion of them are born to do their job. Why is it that he is recreating this pain in his right hip where this hernia was let's focus in on that why has he not healed this he needs obstacles mm. what is this obstacle in his right hip allowing him to 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 do for him Kiss and drive. Mm -hmm. To remind him. Okay. Is there a better way that you can remind him rather than this discomfort in his hip? Yeah, other ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So can we work on that today? Yes. All right. So what would you like to replace? that discomfort in the right hip. What would you like to remind him in the future? How are you going to do that without sending him discomfort? The 
have to remind him not to get lazy. Mm -hmm. He seems to want to relax. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with relaxing? That's what he does as a bird. Relax too much. Mm -hmm. He needs to get things done. Okay. Is this part of his purpose? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you don't want him to just stop doing things? No. Okay. So what does he need to do in his life? What did he come here to do? To just be. To just be. Just like that bird. Yes. Mm -hmm. But don't just be relaxing and doing nothing. Is that it? Yes. Okay, very good. So can we work on that right hip now? Yes. All right, I'd like for you to go ahead and put some energy in that hip. What color energy will you be using? Green. Green, very good. And just for the record, tell him what it is that you're doing to his right hip. Putting green energy. Mm -hmm. To cleanse, cleanse. Mm -hmm. Very good. Tell me when you're done. Very good. Thank you so much. And now let's focus on a different part of his body. He tells me that his feet get very hot while he's sleeping. What's going on there? Energy. Energy. What kind of energy is going through his body? Light energy. Okay. Is there anything he needs to know or do with this energy? Focus. Just focus on the energy. Okay. Does he have any special abilities with his energy? Let's follow that energy and see what kind of energy it is. So energizing energy. Okay, very good. And talking about his sleep, he says that at one time in his life he had a lot of sleep paralysis. What was going on then? He was traveling. Mm -hmm. He's, he comes back. He's trying to wake up too soon. Mm -hmm. Where does he go to when he travels? Different places. Mm -hmm. Is he doing anything while he sleeps? that he wants to go. Mm -hmm. Is this in different lifetimes? No. Where does he want to go? Mm -hmm. On this earth? Yes. Okay. 
is exploring. Mm -hmm. Is there any particular place that he continues to go back to? Egypt. Mm. What is it in Egypt that's calling him? He's fascinated. Mm -hmm. The pyramids. What does he need to know about Egypt today? He has a history. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that history. Has he lived in Egypt before? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, can you show him a picture, please, of what he was in Egypt? A pharaoh. A pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Let's acclimate him into that body. See through the eyes of this pharaoh. Feel the body. Describe yourself for me. Mm -hmm. Thin. Kind of tall. Mm -hmm. How tall are you? Seven foot. Mm -hmm. Take a look at your body, the shape of your body, the shape of your head. What do you look like? My head is long. Mm -hmm. Wearing a gold. Helmet of some sort. Mm -hmm. Touch it and see what it feels like. It's like gold metal. Mm -hmm. It is light. What is the purpose of this metal helmet? It's just for covering. Mm -hmm. Show royalty. Okay. What does the rest of you look like? Look down. What are you wearing? So it's like a white skirt. Mm hmm. With gold trimming. Your feet are really long. Mm hmm. Your feet are long. Are you wearing anything on your feet? No. Mm -hmm. Look at your hands. What do your hands look like? Long fingers. Mm -hmm. How many fingers do you have? Five. Mm -hmm. And what color are your hands? Like a mulatto. Mm Are you holding anything in your hand? Um, looks like a little tiny whip. Mm -hmm. What do you do with this? Just to, mm -hmm. to make gestures. Mm -hmm. Connect with this pe these people. How do you feel about them? I care about them. Mm -hmm. They like me mm -hmm. because I treat them fair. What do they call you? So let's find out a little bit about your life. I'd like for you to close this scene and go to the most important scene of that lifetime, one that defines you. Be there now. 
What is the ceremony all about? I think a new, a new pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Or a priest. Mm -hmm. Tell me what happens in this ceremony. They, they choose the Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. I give him things that he should say. They make all his speeches. Mm-hmm. So these priests advise the yeah. Pharaoh? Yes. Mm -hmm. So who is the Pharaoh that's been selected today? into his eyes, you will recognize him. I don't know him. Mm -hmm. All right. What happens next? How does this affect you? I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. Understand what the role of a pharaoh is. Mm -hmm. So, are you feeling confused? Yes. All right. So, let's close this scene and let's move forward when you do understand this role. Be there now. Priest, one of his sons. We we're friends. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Eighteen. Mm -hmm. He's teaching me about.
religion. Mm-hmm. What is the purpose of this lesson today? To groom me. Mm-hmm. I want to groom me. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about this? Unsure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I want to do this. This is not the responsibility. So let's close the scene and let's move forward now to the next important scene. Be there now. Mm -hmm. I'm in a ceremony there. Making me Pharaoh. Mm -hmm. Check in with your emotions. How do you feel now? Excited. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding the role of a pharaoh now? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the responsibility of a pharaoh? Just govern the people. Mm -hmm. To meet their needs. Mm -hmm. Are you prepared to do that now? And lead by example. Lead by example. Good. Are you prepared to do that now? Yes. Good. So let's close this scene and let's go to a point in your life as Pharaoh when something significant happens. I'm getting married. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Mm. There's a lot of people gathered. A lot of different colors. Mm -hmm. People coming from all over. Mm -hmm. Who are these people that are coming to this ceremony? People from the south mm -hmm. and the north. So take a look at your bride. What does she look like? She look like you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Take a look at her height. She's shorter than me. Mm -hmm. She has almond shaped eyes. Mm -hmm. Her hair is cut short. Mm -hmm. And she also wears a a headdress. Mm -hmm. Her head also is elongated. Mm -hmm. Take a look at her eyes. The eyes are the window to the soul. Do you recognize those eyes in a lifetime of her now? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you to understand the relationship in that lifetime and the lifetime now. Understanding the connection and why they are brought together in this lifetime again. This marriage was arranged. Mm -hmm. There's, there was no choosing. Mm -hmm. How does that affect you when you don't choose your mate? Uh, custom. Mm -hmm. Are you pleased with the choice that is made? Yes. Very good. So let's close this scene now. Let's go to the last day of your life as Pharaoh. Go to the last day. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? I don't seem very old. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with your body? I'm sick. Mm -hmm. I've been poisoned. Who has poisoned you? The priest. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of this? Yes. Mm -hmm. I want you to see the priest. And see if you recognize those eyes in the lifetime of her now. I'd like for you to soak that in and understand the relationship. Why was the priest poisoning the pharaoh? He didn't like the changes I was making. Mm -hmm. He didn't want me to change the religion. Can you forgive this priest for not knowing any better? Yes. All right. Allow yourself to take your last breath in that lifetime, releasing your spirit from that body. And as you look back at that lifetime, you'll understand the purpose of living it and the lessons that you learned. What, were the, what was the purpose? of you being set pharaoh in that life. To follow your decisions, mm -hmm. no matter what, what it might bring. Mm -hmm. Don't let anybody persuade your decisions. What lesson did you learn from that lifetime? Follow your heart. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to know how is that lifetime affecting the lifetime of Vernal now? It gives me. It confronts. He confronts things. Mm -hmm. Rather than being persuaded. Mm -hmm. He uses his own mind. Mm -hmm. Very similar, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And for that, he wasn't able to be physically poisoned, but he was poisoned in his mind and his soul. Yes. Mm -hmm. Does he need that anymore? No. Can he now embrace his own power? Mm, yes. Very good. 
So let's disconnect from that life, completely disconnect, allowing that life to just move into the into a different time and space. I'd like for you to see that life as if it were a boat on a pier. Remove the knot from the pier, throw it into the boat, and allow that lifetime to just float away, taking with it the lessons that you learned. And now, knowing that he is so connected, I'd like to find out why it is that he's seeing so many sequential numbers. He sees 111, 11, 11. What's going on with that? We want to let him know that we're with him. Mm -hmm. When he sees the numbers, he's aware that we're there. Mm -hmm. What is the message you want him to hear when he sees those numbers? He's not alone. Good. Good. How many of his guides are with him? Three. Three. What are their roles in his life? Guidance. Mm -hmm. He's, he's evil. Mm -hmm. Now, was he being guided by these three when he was a young child? Yes. He tells me that he saw a black leathered being standing in the kitchen when he was a little child. He was dressed in black leather. Was that spirit, or was that an actual person? Spirit. Mm -hmm. Why was the spirit there? To protect him. Okay. He was also able to see dresses moving, filling up. What was that all about? We wanted to let him know. Yeah, we were there. We wanted him to see us. Okay, good. So now that you are speaking with him, what message would you like to give him? Follow your dreams. So while I count him out, I'd like for you to go ahead and begin aligning his chakras, spinning them all, tossing anything that's blocking those chakras. And as you do that, I'd like for you to reinforce his aura, any holes, let's repair them now, let's close them up. And while we're doing that, is there anything else that would you like to say, or are we complete with the session today? I'm complete. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Feeling wonderful. Welcome back. How do you feel? Relax. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any of it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand better now? Yeah. Let's switch these up and ground you. I'm gonna go in crack. That's okay. You did well. 
Do you feel? Did you feel hypnotized? Hmm. Whatever that was, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you saw things very clearly, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How long do you think this was? Mm -hmm. think Not Thirty you? minutes. Mm -hmm. We're on an hour and forty-seven minutes right now. Hmm. Hmm. I haven't seen that long. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> We did a lot more than you thought we did, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We went through a lot. Mm -hmm. Now I know what the fascination with Egypt is now. Now you understand, right? Mm -hmm. You were there. Yeah, because I want to, that's why I want to go back. Mm-hmm. But do you realize that it was the same thing that was happening in that lifetime It was happening in this lifetime? It was that jealousy? No, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the same person. Mm -hmm. So there he poisoned you with poison. Here he poisoned you with words <laughs> and actions. Yeah, he was... I remember about the priest. He wanted to... Mm -hmm. He wanted to... To use um, the religion to control the people, mm -hmm. and I wanted to change that. Yeah. Does yeah. that make sense now in this lifetime? How things? Mm-hmm. And you kind of want to change it? Yeah. Do you feel that you got what you needed from this session? Yeah. <laughs> a lot, huh? Mm-hmm. So, is this the kind of session that you want to keep private, or you want to share some of it? Mm, I can share some of it. Yeah, not all of it. But. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Hello, Bernal. Hey. So, how'd it go for you? Yeah, it was great. Um, I learned some things I didn't know about myself. Wow. And still feeling a little tingly. Tingly? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're buzzing. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. So, tell everybody why you came here. What was the, the whole idea of coming here? Well, I just, I wanted to know, um, well, what my life purpose was, mm -hmm. why I feel the way I feel yes. about different things, mm -hmm. and, um, um, you know, I was in, I used to go to church when I was little, but mm -hmm. I, it just didn't resonate with mm -hmm. me. I felt like something wasn't right. Yes. But when I came across you and Dolores, that's when things started to feel right. Mm -hmm. And I think that's led me here. Your spirituality. Mm -hmm. So now that you saw yourself as a pharaoh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the one about the bird, I don't the bird. think. I, I, that's Interesting. That's weird. Well, it seems that that's where mm -hmm. you would go when you sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, because when you go to sleep, you went to a different place, mm -hmm. and that was your your sanctuary. Yeah. Interesting, huh? It's like one of these long legged birds. Yeah. How tall is this camera like a, stand? Okay, like a flamingo or something. It, it, like, it something wasn't long. Yeah, it was. It had like pepper hair. It's interesting. Huh? Pepper colored. Yeah. yeah. And there you felt freedom. Mm-hmm. And the whole idea of your purpose is really to spread freedom. Yeah. Yeah. And now we understand why we chose this body. Mm -hmm. You knew what you wanted to feel. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember it saying something about I was, <laughs> I was, I was, I was judging yeah. it off of looks and. Yeah. And. You learned a lot here, didn't you? Pers, you know, people's personal. Um, mm -hmm gender or whatever gender they choose and now do you realize people are souls yeah and right y you know it depends on it's like your car you know one time you have a, a, mm -hmm. a red car the next time you have a big uh, silver SUV yeah. it just changes but the drivers the same yeah so this Sparrow is the same as this person is yeah. in front of me. Yeah. It's I, the same soul. I just use a different vehicle. That's it. Mm -hmm. So now that you understand that, does that now that you felt it actually, mm -hmm. how does how does that make you feel? <sighs> so different now, you know, far as um, yeah. 
Yeah. You know, the part is treating people yes. the same and mm -hmm. not looking at people for what they appear to be. After doing mm -hmm. this work for so long, I can't see a person except for a soul because that's mm -hmm. who I deal with in my sessions. You know, people come to me, male, female, mm -hmm. um, whatever, race, color, nationality, and it's like, it's souls. It's well, I think it's mostly TV. Yes, both. And they, they, um, they hype all this up. You know, they show a lot of these race movies. Mm -hmm. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it gets people riled up, you know, mm -hmm. they make them angry when they see these race movies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It just brings it all back up. Right. And you carry that in your DNA. Mm -hmm. But the only way that you can change is by changing it now. Start yeah. changing it now. And forgiving. Forgiving those that don't know any better because that's, mm -hmm. that's how they grew up. That's their programming. Yeah. Good. So do you recommend this experience to other people? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said, I started with Dolores <laughs> Cannon and she led me here to Alba. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And today we did a totally different session that I usually do. Um, mm -hmm. We started with memories yeah. of this lifetime and, uh, you know, everybody's different. We try, we, I do different things with everybody. Well, if you want a session with me, go to my website, albaweinman.com. Click on the um, hypnosis tab and there you will see... Uh, newsletter. You have to sign up for the newsletter. It comes out about once a month, and I will tell you where I'm holding my sessions next. As soon as you receive that email, click on the calendar. If the dates are there, they're yours. If not, they're booked. They book very quickly, right? Yes. Yeah. Correct. How, long, how long were you trying? A uh, year. <laughs> Oh, you made it! You're a here. long time. <laughs> you made it. Good. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I certainly did. And uh, I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm. Can I get the hug now? Okay. Uh -oh. mm -hmm.